All right, boys, we got a uh, long-awaited episode today. We just did the we did the Nelk video last Monday. If you guys are watching this, it's probably Thursday or Friday. But we just uploaded the Nelk video where we uh we linked up in the video. It's been like a long time, long time. We kind of wanted to to link up and do something, but we didn't know exactly what or we kind of knew. I feel like we would always do the pod, mm -hmm. but just kind of I don't know. I don't know if it was timing or just. It was just kind of more random, right? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I think it's better that we're doing the pod now anyway. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We were actually just thinking about that on the way up. Where it's like when we were going through all that or whatever. It's like yeah. I feel like, I don't know, we're pretty civil and yeah. it's good vibes now, you know? Uh -huh. But people, uh, obviously people love the, the video. The yeah, new video, a good video. For sure, obviously. I, like that. I mean, we knew that because everyone obviously like missed obviously seeing you on the channel and stuff like that too. So I watched the video a few times during the edit, but then when it was premiering, I watched it like the whole thing through and then I kept like I was going back and watching it. It was just like it's a good feeling, right? Dude, yeah. Good like I, that's why I texted you. The, like the did at the end yeah. too was like yeah. super dope. How did it feel like, to film that? Um well we didn't film together in how long, you think? I don't know. Definitely a lot of mixed feelings for sure. Not gonna say it was like just like you know what I mean it's it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah. it was dope. I, mean, I think the filming was more easy because we we were chilling before that at like when we we didn't yeah. film it and stuff like that but that was definitely like crazy seeing you after like a long time and stuff like that but the filming when we came to your house was it was pretty chill like yeah it was, it was chill. normal kind of yeah, everything like, in the edit <laughs> it was just like cool i remember you, seeing you before like even doing the whole filming stuff but like when we seen you remember you came to the house oh yeah you guys went to yeah. dinner that was like that was insane. Yeah. That felt great seeing you. Well, I didn't even so realize cool. when he said that it was like three years. I was like, I know it's a long time. Time also just fucking flies now. Yeah, but like, does. I didn't think it was three fucking years. So I know. It doesn't feel like three. No. It feels like a year or something. Yeah, it does, right? It does. Dude, well, my long? feet don't touch the ground right now. It's fucking, <laughs> dude, it's fucking hot. As fuck. Should we just go tarps off? No. The hell? Of course I'm no, down. But wait, wait, let's actually bring that up because <laughs> when you were in the bathroom, we congratulated Jesse on his trans transformation. Look Thank good. You. Noah was epic. No, it's not. No, I can't even say that word. No, well, you got you dieting and all that. Mm -hmm. How much has that changed for like your your mental health, everything? It's all connected, you know. Fucking like, like how you were saying, but not drinking. That probably was like step one. But uh, it was just a bunch of good habits. You keep on adding onto the list and then doing it every fucking day. Yeah, just we're trying to do that too right now. Yeah, it's fucking hard, bro. What What are you guys on? Like second week, third week? Trend. I think I think we're all on a different wave. I don't know if I'm on this. I don't think you're quite, <laughs> he goes a, twice you're a day quite to the gym, on my wave, but <laughs> yeah, you don't no. want him to tie into your wave. Like, uh, no, it's just like, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I'm like fucking like, <laughs> like I'm going to slow you down. I'm like South African, like <laughs> fucking what's, what's like, wait, like, I don't know. Just like big waves. And you're like, I don't know. Yeah, like, no, I'm slacking. Like bro. Lake Michigan or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a different, a different kind of thing. Yeah. yeah I, just, I just roll. And like sometimes I hit the gym, but. Yeah. I like being active. I think that's what it is. It's just like well, just what would you say to like anyway. one out of 10 health? Like, what's that? David Goggins up here at 10. What are you at right now? No, I just like, I like doing jiu jitsu, bro. <laughs> I think that's very fun. Yeah, but what if, what would you put on your, oh, one to 10 if David Goggins is a 10? I'll probably add a two. <laughs> 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 I mean, nah, no, that guy's a fucking warrior. You watch that guy to get fired up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to tell him, bro. That guy gets, can get anybody motivated. Oh yeah, it's fucking crazy. I mean, That's you're not gonna you're not gonna back down somebody that like fucking talks to you like that. He's like, no. I'm fucking trained. <laughs> no, <laughs> ready to go, you pussy. <laughs> like, what What do you think what was doing. the biggest thing that clicked? Because me and you were always trying to work out and kind of get in shape and stuff too. But what do you think? What do you think was the biggest thing that clicked for you? I've kind of explained this before, but it, and I, I might have texted you about it. But the main thing for me was. Uh, creating a streak is like huge mm -hmm. just like like for me it was run a, at least a mile every day or eat under 1750 calories like whatever it is you make your list but i would do it for seven days in a row and it would just be like clockwork like lose two pounds feel better all that shit and then i was like okay cool let's do two weeks three weeks and then at a certain point you're like oh i'm 150 days in it, like it kind of felt like drinking like quitting drinking right like you're creating that pressure to like have a beer is like a bigger deal now because you're breaking that streak. And I kind of just like tried doing that with fitness for the first time. Cause like we, like how many times have you seen me like lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight. I was it's like, tough. fuck dude. It's so drinking annoying. definitely is, is step one for fucking obviously weight loss too. And just yeah. like working out, like 
And you're you gonna be like sober though. No, like, you no. can still drink. It's just yeah, because that's what I'm trying to do now. It's just like probably just every Saturday. Yeah, every Saturday. If you say every Friday, like don't say once a week, because like then you could hit a Friday. Yeah, and then like you know a it's chick hits you, a chick hits yeah, you up yeah. on a Saturday, yeah. and then you're just like fuck. Yeah. So that's why I'm just thinking like, I think it's the step one is chasing pussy. Honestly, no, yeah, girls is the biggest. We never just sure. really went out for like casuals. Like we never said like yo like oh, I really want to just go have a beer right now you know what I mean it yeah. was it was always to go out and get fucking chicks pretty much oh, yeah like even much back in, goes even out. back in the day no hundred percent like I don't think we would just go to a bar and be like oh we need a drink right now it was yeah. always just like we'd film and then like whatever college or whatever the thing we were at it's like we let's should go, let's go wheel try to wheel chicks yeah that that's where it starts yeah. we should honestly take it back to where you guys first started you guys are down. Just for the fans to talk about, because I honestly, I don't even know, bro. Like, that's how new I am. Uh, like, the day you guys first met, first thing you filmed, kind of how it all came together. Yeah, no, I remember I remember the first time we uh, linked up. I think you'd messaged me on, like, Facebook or some shit, right? Yeah. And, and Jesse had an MTV show at the time, Careless Teens. That was on MTV Canada. I was just doing the YouTube thing, and he kind of, like, sent me some ideas, and then I think we went back and forth. And then we did this prank, you, like, you lit me on fire. Yeah. Where Jesse said he knew how to, like, light someone's arm on fire and, like, not get. Where's that video at? It's on there. Yeah, it's still, oh, on still there. up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. It's like, you lit me on fire prank. Okay. And um, so, yeah, so we went, we, like, put the gasoline on, like, my arm, for example. And then, like, I would sit beside someone. And then Jesse would come up and, like, light me on fire. And then I would like freak out and see it and blame the person beside me and like and be like, yeah, like we'd only like, do it to people that were smoking or yeah. Oh shit! shit. So you yeah. act like so they like you're blaming them. And how how to it go? It's pretty funny. It like good, right? how to yeah. do how to do on the internet too, views wise and all that. It's hard I to mean, say at, at the, the time, time who yeah. knows at the time, right? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't even remember what it did at the time. Like it's not like it went like fucking viral. Right. Like, definitely hundred like k would be like, like we were pretty stoked on hundred k. I think. Yeah, but I don't even think it definitely didn't get that. When, no, I don't even. See, I don't, so, so. I don't even fucking. What know. was your guys' first like hundred k or big video where you were like? Yo. So like we were doing our thing for a bit, and then it's when we moved to LA. Um, the first viral video we hit was seven ways to compliment boobs. Oh yeah, I thought it was a coke get? prank, but it was that, that got right? like I remember, and and this was when YouTube videos would go viral, right? So people were sharing YouTube videos way more, and it was all about getting reposted on like other sites. Ah, so there was sites like I forget what they were called, but like there was like big like sites that would post videos. Yeah, you would Google the title of your video and then see if those and big pages yeah. like okay, posted it. Yeah. So like people were reposting the video, but you know honestly, it would, I think it only got like three hundred k in twenty four hours. But that to us was like holy shit! Like I feel like at that time that's pretty hours. big though. How long it ago was, was that? Like what I mean, year is this? I think like twenty thirteen. No, I think 15. I was 19. Yeah, so about 2014, 2015. 2014, 2015, yeah. So you got a th that was your first 300k video. Probably, yeah. And that's where is that where that you guys walk us through that one? Like where you say like nice rack to and the there's girl, a person and with a rack behind yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just a bunch yeah. of boob, so, so many like uh copied that references. The first two that I ever saw was um embarrassing phone calls in public and mm -hmm. then college dorms. Which I think you did most of that one. Where you were like trolling the guy like, yo, I'm supposed to move in here. Oh, you have the basket of clothes and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was good. Both of those went, I don't even know if it was TikTok. I want to say it was TikTok or maybe even Vine, but they both went crazy on there. Like that's really? how I first found you guys. Yeah. No, and then I think we would go back. And then we did Coke Prank out there at that same trip. And that was the next big one, which is still the most viewed video. Yeah, and that one went, that, that one went super, that's like 50 mil, I think, mm -hmm. right? How many yeah. videos do you think you guys were at before the Coke one? I mean, Kyle was, you were shooting a bunch of stuff before. But we had done, we've done a lot of different ones for sure. We were vlogging. That's when daily vlogging was big too. And we had the second channel and we were trying to do that on the Nelk 2 channel, daily vlogging. See, it but, feels like we went to LA and we hit that viral like in a month. Yeah. Like, didn't that happen? Yeah. And the, I remember first, I don't know if you can remember, but I just remember like, Dude, I was 19, like, f flying to L.A. Oh, my God. It was yeah. crazy, bro. Like, landing there, like, from Toronto. Like, Probably fired up. We j I dropped out of school. Like, it was, like, it Yeah, was how crazy. scared were you guys? And we were, the thing is, also, Excited, like, we honestly. couldn't, you couldn't, we couldn't sign a lease because we didn't have right. leases or anything like that. So, 
the only like short term rental place we could like stay at was like this like luxurious kind of like condo that was like, like our first 10, like 10. disagreement i remember but like yeah. it ended up paying out like he want he was like pushing for this the 1010 wilshire place what? and i was like fucking you know because we're both working trying to save up money and i remember being like fuck dude it's too expensive at the time it was, it like was four expensive. Grand. So you wanted the sauce crib and he wanted the more like financially no but like, he had a good maybe, point yeah. like it, it did work out it was like yo we got to be in the fucking shit it's like wu-tang clans our fucking neighbor like and so which condo you ended up moving into the wilshire yeah, but we like it was two bedrooms, so we like two people both shared rooms. And this is oh, before okay. or after the Coke prank. This is the same time. Okay, that time. Where was like yeah. merch and stuff at during the Coke prank? Yeah, merch didn't did even start, start yet. Merch. merch didn't even start yet. So then after that, we would like go back to Canada because we also couldn't afford to stay there. Yeah, where's like, the bro, money at, coming at from? that time, bro? Like I'm not even like like we couldn't even like we couldn't afford Uber. Like really? to go to Venice, we would take like a. We'd walk to the subway, and then we'd take the subway to, like, oh my a God. bus. Yeah. Wow. That Remember would take that. us. It would take us, like, two hours to get to Venice. And it Remember was like that the lady most getting exhausted. robbed? Yeah. That one, was we fun. saw one lady get robbed that was, on the subway. Yeah. So was L.A., like, kind of like, because uh, you guys are from Toronto, obviously. But yeah. Coming to L.A., like, were you guys like, what the fuck? going on yeah that had to be sick dude i remember i remember venice you, beach was like the place to shoot too yeah. all the big pranksters were there it was yeah, like was a lot of crazy people there yeah yeah that's wild but no nah, it was cool did you guys at this point have any doubts of like getting to where you wanted to be yeah for sure yeah like what do you think at that point were your biggest so, speed bumps i don't know about you jesse but i think so we we would have to go home because we couldn't afford to stay out there like we couldn't eat out. Like we would. Yeah, fuck, where was the any money coming from at that point? Just a little the YouTube money, a little bit, and then I think even we were doing some random ass brand deals, like oh. you do birdie and remember that it was like an essay thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember the phone one or something. Yeah, just like some random ass shit. You do birdie. You haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, that's I know, hilarious. It's crazy. But then we would go, and then we would go home, because not only could we not stay there. For six, like we'd only be in there for six months, but we also just needed to go home and like kind of save up money to go back again. Yeah, but I think every time we went home, some it, it did slow down a little bit, kind yeah. of, because mentally you're just like you're not together all the time, and like you know, mm -hmm. there's you're hanging out with old friends that are kind of not on the same wave, right? Fucking smoking weed in your friend's basement and shit like we were still young too like right, only 20 yeah. years old 20 like you know what i'm saying it was yeah. like a reset but also you it was like life pulling you back into like reality of like nah man you should go fucking work at the golf course you could work at yeah. pasco and then it was like that's a good then point. we would like meet up and you'd be like nah man like i can't connect with these dudes that's like, probably what kept you something. motivated was going back to canada and being like Dude. yo i'm back in my golf course job fuck that or yeah. whatever right well, you all, you just didn't see eye to eye with like some you couldn't like some conversations didn't really like I don't know it's just different, dude. The energy like I'm sure you can relate, but like when you're in LA and it's like every coffee shop everywhere you go, everyone is just trying to fucking like yeah, it's not weird to it. talk about how to make a viral video or like oh how did that post it's all about go like up? Like sports, yeah, make the best. Okay, I see. You go mean. home and they're fucking like talking yeah, about so the rims on their like truck and shit you're surrounded by it you're you're consumed in it which could technically like people say it could it's it could be mentally a bad thing but it's also kind of like maybe what it takes do you know what i mean yeah like, but it whenever we were there like way, i think right? I, I remember sometimes yeah, like yeah 100 and then we would do different trips then we'd go to florida for a little bit we did that but then there was a time where like dude we were, i remember we were trying to follow the typical prank model and like I don't know what it was we were doing, but like remember remember when we lived in Florida with like Tori and like mm -hmm. we were shooting like skits. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why we did that. I don't know. I'm trying to think, but like it, whatever we were doing was not working at oh, that the time. Skit format. Like people just weren't fucking with it. You talking about the that. audience wasn't fucking with it? Wait, yeah, they weren't fucking about... with it. Can like we were uploading skits on the channel. Yeah. Oh, we did like the yeah. broccoli and like thing Facebook and... was taking off. Yeah, that that. Shit. So maybe we started to focus because we needed money. So we started doing other. So yeah. we got money. I remember in Florida too. I we remember always getting, liked like doing sketch comedy too. So yeah. it's like we kind of did try to do that, like not faking pranks, but like sketch comedy. Sure. Like, that I always you, like that. Kissed, you always you like kissed that. a girl, or like some shit. You were in bed with oh, a girl. Yeah, I think yeah, that's when you that was in Canada. It. But I remember that that was around yeah, the same time. Yeah, I remember that sketch. Yeah, so was... we were trying that type of shit and it just wasn't working. 
and dude i literally remember like the youtube was not working and like we even said like yo i don't know if the youtube's gonna work out like we're like really i swear to god bro like i was wow. like i don't know like i was like maybe we just like do this facebook shit and like we can kind of be more on the back end and like make money like doing that yeah. What what do you do? You remember what you filmed after that, or what? And then I think it was I I remember Pushed this. You guys to this get is focused. this is when it fucking switched. Was when we said, like, yo, let's just do this. Let let's upload three times. I was a just about to say yeah. that's a lot. Three this was right before the week. like grind started, right? Fuck, yeah, bro. traveling. Who's editing at this point? Both just us. You two? Yeah, sharing it. That's wild. Dude, I think we said well, that's a lot. How did that change for the whole channel when you do three times a week at that point? We said let's just I don't know what we did. We said let's just I don't know. Yeah, we just said let's do it and let's stick to it. And we just did it. And we just I think that's when we got in the car and road trip to VidCon. Yeah. And we just we just did it. So we were on the road, like driving, staying at fans' houses, and we were filming and editing at the same time. So you're on the road, you're filming, and you're fucking then at night. Like you're editing and you're uploading on the road in motel. Dude, trying to find Wi Fi to upload at a motel and shit. Yeah. I remember like. What was the best Wi Fi spot? Motel? Dude, we used to go to. We could know because they were always shit. So we'd try to go to fans' houses. I remember we would make a story oh, being yeah, like, who's dude. got. They would send us their like rating of their like how no strong way. their internet was. And we would like drive to their house. Snapchat was key for us. Yeah. But we'd also like yeah. snag a sandwich out of their fridge or something. Like we fucking you like, did that, huh? What are you guys, little yeah. you dickhead? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Outside yeah. of the outside of the coke I'm prank, kidding. what do you guys think? Each of you was like your favorite prank that you guys successful prank or just one where you guys were like yo that was fucking hilarious. That's hard. Do you have a favorite one? If I just had to think at the top of my head, like I think I like the wine tours. I think the Bigfoot, Bigfoot is funny too. But besides those, like, movie ones... Like an OG one. An OG one? I, I mean, I, I think if you just go back and watch any of the fake employees... Yeah. Like I told Best you... Best Buy was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching that. Best Buy was actually hilarious. And, like, hilarious. all those are just so funny. Like, the one-liners are just, like, ridiculous, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're fucking hilarious. Like, Chirping Hockey Dads, too. Any of that shit. But, yeah, just go watch any fake employee prank, bro. Like, we just, we we're just ripping people. Like, it's yeah. so funny, dude. Yeah, dude. Best Buy was... Wait, were you guys? Were you guys honestly? Were you prepping your chirps before, or was it kind of off the rip improv? Probably a lot of improv, but you'd sometimes like. Have, think, have I remember when I used to write in my notes like, just like funny fucking couple things, and you'd see if you'd remember some. But most of it would be. I know. I'll drop a line, and this guy would be like, "You didn't just think of that." I'm like, "Dude, I mean, <laughs> both of you." I'm like, "Holy <laughs> fuck!" Because it's so it's so on point. And so yeah, like, that question because he wanted to answer that. Yeah, yeah, he wanted he wanted to. You, you know what you're doing. <laughs> it is. I, it, I will say, about, it is hard, like the yeah. pranks, you just like, wanted him to like, it's like the yeah. hardest comedy Obviously. improv to do yeah, on the spot. Because you also have to like, there's this like weird science of like giving them a bit to make them think that this is a real conversation, so you don't go too far. But then also still pulling off like hilarious shit, like and fucking with them. Yeah, you're like controlling this, like manipulating this conversation. Well, you guys never really freeze up, I noticed, too. Well, I was actually going to bring this up when you were bringing up the fire prank. The first, because, like, for me, that was the first time I ever shot a prank. I was doing, like, stunt shit and stuff. But I I don't know if you remember this, but that day, I could not stop laughing. Oh, really? Dude, yeah. Like, there's probably a bunch of footage where it was, like, every time you'd, like, you'd say anything on Uh camera. And I'd have to, like, turn my head away because I would, because I didn't know how to, like, not fucking freeze up and, like. Bro, I remember I just couldn't keep it together. That's but. the only time I'll laugh. I'll never laugh at myself, but I'll laugh at like if you yeah. say something or if you said something. Like I would laugh. I'll laugh at other people, but if it's myself, I'm I could pe- keep a straight face. Like if you two did like the moaning in the ear thing, like, yeah, I could. I wouldn't be able to like sit there and just be like <laughs> in your like face and shit. Like I couldn't. That would get me something like that for sure. So once what happened after the coke prank? How big? Because that was the biggest video ever. What changed? I don't not was much, it big dude. over time? Though? No, it was big over time. Yeah. yeah, it went it went big like off the break. It went viral, but like it, it not like ten million or some shit. So when like, do you think was the big breaking point? When I don't think there other was other creators one. started to give you respect or yeah, like we said, we got in the car and we were driving, and then it was a pretty crazy. We were going to go to VidCon. You know what that is? It was it's way bigger back then than it was now. But like it's where all the YouTubers went. Okay. So like, you know, I don't know who was really big at the time, but. Like who was there really? That was like like the phase guys, I guess. Like yeah, the phase guys were there, and like probably like Wolfie was big at that time. Yeah, 
probably like rice gum. I don't know who else was really big, Andrea, big at the time. What was her name? That Andrea girl? Russet. Andrea Russet. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a totally different. Yeah. Path. So we were gonna go to VidCon. That was our plan. So we drove, stayed at fans' houses, and then YouTube was very YouTubey. Like at that point. Yeah. All the stars were like fucking PG thirteen and shit. Like <laughs> pretty. And then I think we stayed at Big Dawes's house. Yep. We filmed with him. We stayed at his house. And then on the way from Arizona to L.A., mm. Jesse's car car broke down in Palm Springs. Yeah, the Fuck. engine blew in the toaster. And then what happened there? Well, I remember like we brought to the shop and like we don't have any fucking money. And then they did they like they didn't speak English very well or something. But yeah, it just took like a whole like week and they kept saying like, oh, yo right. this part's coming in this part's coming in this part's coming in but they put the wrong engine in do you remember that yeah they fucked it up <laughs> and then we like come back we're like ready to go and they're like we put the wrong engine in dude <laughs> why would they not tell you <laughs> yeah but we also didn't have like we didn't even know how we were gonna pay for the car fi- getting fixed oh, and we had to get home to canada after this too oh shit so we're like what the fuck do we do i think <laughs> we were questioning leaving it and i was like yeah man we're, we're like, not leaving it dude <laughs> That's my fucking baby. What do we do? We did leave it and come back though, because we snapped out and fan, a fan, a oh, group yeah, of fans came it. to get us. They drove to Palm really? Springs. They picked us up, and they brought us to VidCon. I think we like slept on their like hotel, f- like floor and shit. Like was that the night? It was we like were a- fucking sleeping on like floors, like a lot. I thought it was an LA house a floor that we slept on that night. Do you remember we like went to but VidCon? It was and in then Anaheim. Went? Oh yeah, we probably stayed at their house. Maybe eventually. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But yeah, well, and then we made it to VidCon. And I think one thing that really motivated us there, I remember it was actually FaZe Adapt that said it. Mm. So shout out to him. Remember but, that um, when he came up to us? Yeah, he came up to us and he just like, yo, and this is when FaZe was like really big too. Mm. And he was like, he was like, yo, dude, like I was, like your guys' videos are fucking hilarious. Like me yeah. and all the boys, we always get high and fucking watch your guys' videos all the time. And we're like, damn, like, all right. Like, oh, wow. You know, and I remember that kind of stuck with me too. So that was just a respect, and then it got you guys motivated. It's just like when someone with like two million subs right. at the time yeah. says that to you, like, you know. When when did merch come into play? Because it was such a big piece of your guys' success, right? Yeah, I think I think after that, we kind of just kept it going and kept the three a week thing going and doing trips. Like, you know, with Nino, we would go to like, I think we did like Boston and New Jersey and like, yeah. we would just keep traveling, 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 you know, mm-hmm. keeping it going three times a week. And then yeah. Florida was the first drop, I think, with those crew neck hoodies. Yeah. I can't remember that, but yeah. Yeah. What, the first the, what did the first drop wore. look like? But I also remember your, this, your these, dad made logo. that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I think. I mean, or was it George Hennon that was first? That was probably our first. But your dad made that hoodie, right? Was your dad or your I mom? Think so I think did they source it off? Yeah, it was like from That's China crazy, and shit. Yeah. I remember because we got it. We gave them, we gave them a certain hoodie, a champion hoodie, and we were like, "Oh, fucking yeah, yeah, rip yeah. this!" Like, yeah, we sent in a champion hoodie. I don't, I don't know. I forgot my. They actually did that off Alibaba. I didn't. I forgot yeah. about that. They so my dad was like kind of because my parents used to source like shit from China. Yeah, they used to sell these like spray fans mm-hmm. that were like yeah yeah electric powered things. So they knew how to do it. So I guess we gave them the champion hoodie. They sent it in. And then I don't know if there was a couple trials, but we, we used the N, like the classic N logo. And we ordered 2,000 of them, I think. Yeah, because there's no full scent at this point. Right. Like, we're not designing that. Right. Yeah. So do you remember if it sold out? Yeah. Yeah. Were you guys surprised by that or were you like? I don't really remember that. I don't think we were surprised much. though. Like or how much we made or anything. Yeah, but. I don't think I don't think we were surprised because we, we like could gauge the demand of it. Um, based on like the response, yeah, I think we knew it was gonna sell. So were the fans like asking you guys, "Yo, we need merch. We need." Well, merch? we showed it to them. Mm-hmm. We showed them the sample, and okay. everyone went nuts. And okay. the hoodies were fire. Whoa, that is true. Now I look back at it, we the hoodies were, we were, were fire. showing them the process, yeah, 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 which probably built the demand. Yeah. Like that's pretty. Yeah, yeah we showed cool. them like, "Yo, this is the first sample," and you know, it was the first time we did it. And the hoodies were dope. They were like yeah. they were fucking just the classic N in like blue, gray, pink, like maroon. Yeah. So they're just like they were dope. Like yeah. So we yeah, and I think by the demand we knew that it was gonna be big. And yeah, I think I think they sold out in like thirty minutes probably. That's fucking wild, bro. I was gonna say I remember the first real one that it was like when we were in Miami, and we were still like I don't think we okay. had that much Nelk, money. Nelk Boys Canada. Yeah. Yeah. On the on those like college fucking varsity sweaters and yeah i think we shot 
we shot a, like a merch promo in Niagara. Yeah. We yeah. had like a bunch of chicks over. I remember that. Like a, Fucking, it was all Rona season, like Coronas yeah. and shit. Yeah. 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 That was we like what, that. the first big merch shoot? Yeah, merch wasn't shoots. it like, I always say this number, but. Wasn't it was like, girls there actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the? Like, didn't we do like. I swear to God. 700 kids. <laughs> girls like the that? first merch shoot. Uh, um, like I, I remember it being something who, that who was, was like, holy fuck. This was in Miami. Who was, uh, who was a part of the team at that point? Just me, Jesse, and Nino. So Nino's fully on the team. Yeah. yeah. And how long do you think he'd been there? I don't know. Like Maybe a like a year, year. year. Yeah. And how did you guys want to talk about like the first time you filmed with him or it's just a funny story? Yeah. Like the way Nino came into it was that he, he went to my high school. I wasn't like super friends with him. Like I knew him. Um, but he, he was always like doing photography. He lives literally a minute and a half from my house. <laughs> like I swear. So like drive. So he was always <laughs> horny with his camera around and shit. I'd see him walking around the neighborhood. Me and Lucas would see him playing Pokemon Go around the neighborhood and shit. <laughs> he played serious, Pokemon man? Go like a year after it came out. He was at oh, Walmart, right? Damn. Yeah. And he was yeah. working at Walmart and it was the time when everyone was vlogging like this. Yeah. So, like, no disrespect to him, but, like, me and you literally said, like, yo, we just need someone to hold the camera mm-hmm. because we want it to be, like, the third person right. view because it was way cooler than, like, doing this. For Which sure. was game changer. Like, was, I remember. I don't it, think like, we were the one of the first to do that, really. Yeah. Because everyone was doing daily vlogging. We I thought think, it was cringy. We were like, that's, like, yeah. dust. Like, we wanted to be, yeah. like, a TV show. Like, exactly. I remember that. And then I think Nino was just at Walmart, so he had a lot of days off. So whenever he was free, he would come and just shoot for free and stuff. And then eventually we started paying him just like a day rate or something to come film. Yeah. And then eventually we just said, hey, dude, like quit your job. Were you guys surprised how how the three of you just immediately clicked like that? Yeah. The first time Nino, Nino was behind the camera for a while. And then we flipped it during the George Hennon video that we did. That was like this big video too. They didn't know who he was. Huh? And they didn't know who he Four. was. And then he slowly became more and more of a character that he actually is that character yeah <laughs> no it was it was like yeah like we just needed someone to hold the camera and then it was like magic it's like he he just was the perfect character to be the guy behind the camera mm. to then start becoming like you know what i mean it was just fuck it was like it was good you didn't really That's have funny. to force it no like put that guy beside a chick and he's just gonna be like you know well I mean? really well yeah it's just like, Jesus Nino. Christ. like even i just saw him recently he's the exact same he's a, guy he's a funny guy he won't change till he's like 40 like he'll be the same fucking just he's just so funny like um but. okay so we were at miami so after that huge merch shop in miami where you got where are you living at that point you remember that's we had i think at that time now we had some air airbnb kind of money, money yeah but not even like we we're all in one airbnb i think you even fucking brought your girl at the time yeah and like we we're all sleeping in the same room oh my wow. god like nine yeah. on a sleeping are you bag like me here Jesse brings his fucking chick. Dude, how down. hard is it to have a gr- <laughs> how hard is it to have a girlfriend when you're staying at fans' houses and stuff? I, well, that I don't know if she was down when we were at the Airbnb houses. was okay, but not. The but that of- I do yeah, visually no, not remember. At fans houses. Oh, okay. That was probably a dick move on my part. You're like, man, you're gonna yeah, bring your girl. I like, yeah, I was like, fuck, bro. <laughs> we're I know, right? You asshole. <laughs> I'm like, buddy, I'm in love. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> so yeah. how did it go from that to then getting into the cloud house when you guys all moved in there? That was cool. Do you remember that story? Yeah. Banks uh, sent us a DM and was like, I can't remember what he said, but he was just basically like, he's, you know, Banks, he's just right to the point. He's like, you guys are dope. Fucking come out here. Come fucking move in. How crazy well, was well, this that? Is one that? This is when the Cloud House was like the biggest it was. Yeah. Like it was yeah, like. Give us an idea. Who the, was in there like and stuff? Phase Banks versus Jake Paul drama. Like Alyssa Violet shit just went down. Like it was the prime of the Cloud House. Mm-hmm. And we like, they were all over YouTube. We were obviously seeing them. And Banks started shouting us out in his YouTube channel. And he really? was pulling like five mil like a vlog. And he started yeah. shouting us out in his, his YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, that's when you start seeing shit like that. And it's just motivating. Like, you're getting shouted out. Mm. Like, we're getting shouted out by Banks. Yeah. He's in the cloud house. Like, we're like, dude, what the fuck? What was he saying like, just like yo go watch these guys i fuck with them they're hilarious yeah i think so and they were saying like yo we got to get nelk out here and shit and we're Whoa. like what? <laughs> like shout we're like, out banks how was your guys yeah, reaction shout out to banks that. banks to banks the, definitely was one that to the day i die that yeah. dude fucking like for you he jesse, never took a dollar never like coolest fucking guy ever man. for you to, like jesse like seeing that like was that like like what the hell like what's going on 
yeah because there was probably still at that point a little bit of that like like that fuck is this, gonna, is this gonna work this yeah, doubt okay. yeah like when we were at that point we were grinding like grinding to make it and like i don't know it was just one of those like moments that were like tipped you over the edge of like fuck this is gonna work yeah like mm -hmm. i remember we were on our way back from like new jersey or some shit to canada and but yeah banks tweeted us and said yo you guys ready to move in and we literally flew out probably five days later like oh we went home and, like we're like i was like we're flying it like we're going now that's wild and that was the craziest it was good time. that you and me were both those guys that were not like oh well i gotta make sure this is yeah. ready and we were like oh you guys were ready we both go. saw a vision yeah. we were like yeah. nah dude like yes like don't no question yeah like, we weren't like this. people that would wait around and be like all right well i need time to situate this yeah and, like, guys ready it's to like go. yo when's the next yeah. flight like two days from now like we're going and shit you know that's awesome i i think that was probably a pretty damn pivotal moment yeah that's what i, I was gonna say when you asked about that like what was like a tipping point like it was like that was like it put us in the mix yeah. it's the same way yeah. that like when you found steve and then because we're at the cloud house and you know working your magic and all the shit and steve just being like an icon it like that's why steve blew up in like a fucking but month. this is when we right. only went for a week right this oh that's not when we were so did in. he did he oh we weren't moved in yeah this. so he so asked you to fucking... come film first and then later asked you to move in yeah yeah so what happened the first time you guys go there like, well, we didn't we're just driving there? up the Hollywood Hills for the first time. We stayed there. Yeah, and we, we spent the night the crib. Yeah. We stayed for a whole week. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. My fucking memory. I know. It's shit. hard to remember. I totally forgot that we only went for a week. Yeah, and we what did that week look hills. like? We f we just like, I mean, Summer Ray was there. Alyssa People were in and out, huh? uh, Wolfie yeah. was there. He was massive at the time. Rice Gum was massive at the time. Banks was. And then, yeah, Phase Adapt, like Temper, all the Phase guys. They were they were all there. And now, what's going through massive. your guys' mind when this is like when you're seeing all this? Like honestly, going into the house, it's pretty crazy, bro. It was it was very surreal, like a video wow. game. I mean, this was the this yeah. was the top YouTube crew yeah, the in top. the yeah. game, like at, at the time, right? And it yeah, was just like wow. holy fuck, it was yeah. crazy. But even then, bro, it's interesting because I remember too. Even then, people were saying we switched up. Like, really? Oh, like you guys went Hollywood already? Like, yeah, I swear to, I totally remember when we really? first moved into the cloud house. I could see like, that. I remember thinking, like, all right, we gotta stay Canadian, and like, we fucking <laughs> hung up the Canadian yeah. flag. We got like Tim Hortons espresso shit, and like, <laughs> so I remember that too. That was honestly a challenge too. <laughs> it's just funny, yeah. yeah. It's like we did, yeah. Did you guys film a video that week there with like a collab? Yeah, we Banks did have, yeah. something. We did like a calling in sick, I think, with yeah. Banks. Yeah, 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 we did. That was like our go-to because it was like so easy to bang mm -hmm. out. Because we quickly also realized that doing a collab with someone big that doesn't know how to do pranks is kind of like, yeah, you can't like make him go do this and then they're not going to perform yeah. or like, same thing with the lecture prank. I feel like we did that a lot because it was just like, just be loud at the is front of the lecture. Is that when you guys did UCLA too? I remember you guys did a video on UCLA. You guys did Probably. a lecture. Oh, that, typewriter. It was typewriter. Oh, that one was you guys funny. Did typewriter. Yeah. I don't know that if that's fine. That was definitely cloud house. But then, yeah, then I think we probably went back to Canada and then we came back and then Banks let us move in. That's why. And then we, st I don't know how long we lived there. And his, you guys are just Flies. shacked up in like, two rooms or what did that look like? He gave us those rooms on the side, right? Me and Jesse had a room. There was a bathroom in the middle and then my room. And then there was like, a, it was the guest area. And then there was like a little living space room. And then there was a bunk bedroom with four bunk beds. <laughs> and that's when we... We hired Oz Osgod. Mm. He came out. Um, manager Drew was there. Those Nino boys were grinding there. too in that fucking little hot. Yeah. Like, I don't think there was AC. And there was no AC. Studio. Clay, who, Dude, was who did our, a lot of our accessories for merch. Are you guys? So they're all in one room, four guys. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask. So are you guys, everyone else at this point is kind of like starting to see real money and you guys are still like trying to get to that point? I'm trying to think. Were, were we more famous than rich? Like we were definitely I mean? making money at that point because that's when we're like, all right, we hired Osgod to like kind of edit the videos because Nino was never editing the videos. Yeah, and Osgod has like eight rollies, so yeah. Well, oh, yeah, <laughs> we definitely had money if we were getting <laughs> Osgod. Yeah. Shit, yeah. What man? But we <laughs> were still just putting it kind of all into the the operation. So, How much did that change for the channel and the views when you move into that house on a content side? Just with collabing, having all those a guys. Lot. Yeah, a lot. I remember seeing fucking Nino and that, and Matthews was there. 
Yeah, yeah. Austin Matthews came to the yeah. crib. You guys, you guys fucking played hockey with him in the back. I remember watching those videos. Yeah, put, we put like, Nino in net and shit. Yeah, oh, and so then uh, that's when you guys like invited us to come out. I remember Kyle hit me up and was like, "Hey, like, like let's film a prank, whatever." We did sneezing, right? We yeah. sneezing. That was the first one. Yeah. Um, but I remember you guys were having like a merch drop. Like when we came upstairs, I remember manager Drew got us upstairs on that glass table. We all yeah, had laptops. all you guys last yeah. table. You guys were you guys look like you guys look stressed. <laughs> That's pretty much what I have. And then I just remember when the merch shop went, I was like, bro, what the fuck type of numbers are these? Like, what the hell is going on in here? I and wonder like, if at that it. time it was like really going on. Yeah, off. I remember playing pong with like <laughs> Nino. Like we we're playing like uh, ping pong. And then like it was just such a total operation. The one thing I really, really remember, man was bro we we're or you guys were filming it was adrian mm. and i think oz got pushed you and kyle into the pool and you guys shot in the pool i will never forget that moment and me and cousin were just sitting in the back like yo dude like we were just living in the car bro <laughs> that was about to happen. <laughs> but no i don't know it was just such a great opportunity and then we did sneezing like me and kyle did sneezing and well, that what was really that good. week for you Cause I, that I don't even was know if I to me because I obviously knew who you guys were. Like I've watched you guys. Like I've I've watched all your guys' videos. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think everybody knows that. But um, I don't know. The Cloud House was like such a surreal moment in my eyes because it just it was such a total operation. Like that opened my eyes. Like okay, bro, if you want to if you want to really really get to that top, this is how it's gonna have to look. There, you got to be stressed the fuck out. It's not gonna be all dandy. And like happy and like, yo, we're filming videos. Oh, just posted this, this, that. No, this is an operation. But I seen how you guys were. And you were making shop money went, at huh? the time. Like you were like, I was very, I was very scared. Really? I was very, very scared. I was like, bro, I'm meeting like one of my idols. Like seriously, I remember seeing you too. You're at the table, and it seemed like you were very stressed out because you really wanted the merch shop to do well. And I, I thought, I think it was going live in like 30, 45 minutes. I think you guys were doing videos on phone to promote it on Instagram. Yeah. I didn't know what the hell was going on there, but I kind of realized that when you guys got pushed in the pool, I was like, okay, yo, the merch shop's yeah. going live. You guys had the funnels. That 60 minute window when like a drop would happen would oh, be a chaotic, like, I, that, that, something going on with Shopify. Cause we'd crash the site so yeah, many times. Yeah, do you guys crash the site? We have to get more promo up. We have to tell people yeah, that something sold out. Like, that, 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 it like, would always be this like high. It's almost like yeah. gambling. And then but, it would but be like, I, I, I really actually had, like back then, like even now too, like I admire the fact that like, dude, you guys were like, like that showed me a lot. Like I think that's what made me want to keep going as well. Yeah. Um, it was ridiculous, bro. Dude, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. What do you guys think you missed cool most point, about dude. those days? It's just like it's dope it was a good time it was just like crazy but i think now when i look back on it i kind of said it in the video too it's just like i would recommend to like younger people to but you can't like recreate it it's so hard to explain it's just like like we were just going yeah like you know like we weren't like we were strategic and we were thinking and it would it was not luck there's obviously maybe some luck but like we were very strategic with everything we did but at the same time it's also like, damn, we were just like in yeah. the zone, right? Like, I think that's what like short circuited me a bit at yeah. a certain point. Like, yeah. it was the exactly what you just said. It was like, what is so you start thinking, right? Like, now it's like, oh, I don't got to worry about all these things. We got money coming in, we got this, everything's working. And it's like, what is the goal post? I mean, it, like, I mean, when like, you continuously you just keep grind. like trying and keep going, I'm sure luck is going to play a part in a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. Like, getting that perfect reaction or. You yeah, know, for getting, sure. Getting those days where like, okay, we just banged out a prank in 30 seconds. I mean, I think that plays a part with you working so hard, like three times a week. It's yeah. like how you guys said. I mean, you're bound to have it. Right? Oh, was there, yeah. was there yeah, any I point mean, when no, you guys 100%. started making that real money and you're in the cloud house, like all the distractions start to come in? Like, any no, cloud house, I think we were pretty fucking like still just like dialed. dialed. If anything, other people were distracted mm -hmm. and like they were kind of had already made it a bit yeah so like they weren't working as hard i think we were like by far and like i've heard other people say like we were like the hardest working team in that house like we were like dialed well yeah. i don't want to speak for you but i think that what it is is you and me were grinding like we went through all the other shit so it was like once you get a glimpse of like this all paying off and working it was like 
we're like, dude, this is time to press play. Like, we got to fucking go, go. Like, yeah, and we, I mean? we weren't, like, like finally here by any means at all. Like, no. we were, like, still, like, on the come up, you know? Yeah. But it opened up so many. You could collab with fucking anyone. You could fuck. It was, like. I, I remember know, you were wanted to, like, meet Nigel fun. and shit, right? Dude. And then it was, like, crazy. slowly, like, people that we were, like, dreaming of meeting. Yeah. Like, next thing you know, Nigel posts a feed, put like, a fucking Instagram feed post with Jesse, like, skateboarding with him. Yeah. It was just, like, rooftop, shit like that like, was happening where I was, like, I knew that was, like, a dr- like, sure. dream yeah. of yours, too. Or then, like, Austin Matthews is coming to our fucking crib, like... That's playing wild. hockey with him in the Hollywood Hills. Like, I'm a kid from fucking, like, I've been a Dude, Leafs yeah. fan. Like, it's just like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? I feel like on? that does happen. It was you always interesting, I mean? too, like, to see who was, like... He throws us up on his feed, too. Yeah. He writes yeah, Nelk wild. Boys. Like, it's just like, shit just keeps going. It comes from hard work, right? I mean, like, yeah. you really look at it. It was cool to see, like, who was, like, your idols and who you were, like, stoked on. And then who would I be stoked on? And, like, that whole, like, you don't want to be too, like fanboy or whatever but like it's like someone that like half the people here wouldn't even be like tripping about and i'd be like fucking like yo what's up man like fucking all true, <laughs> might as well I mean? be a fanboy right? but then like someone else it's like big and, and but you're not it's not your guy like you're like chilling but yeah but i think we definitely me and jesse understood the youtube game yeah i was gonna say what do you think made you guys we, we so knew how different to, we knew how to grow subscribers mm. we knew how to like pitch people ideas Right. Like, yeah. like, you know, we would like, not that we were using people, but like we were like, we knew how to collab with people and like, mm-hmm. you know, you always got to present someone to like your idea to that person. Yeah. How is it beneficial for them? Or like, do you know, you think they'd like this idea? hundred percent. So, you know, yeah. we'd brainstorm, like if we wanted to do something with Nigel, like, yo, what are we going to do this? No, 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 this, no, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we would know, and we would we were good at collabing, yeah. I think, with people and like collabing with bigger people. And since we were the, we, I think we were the first YouTubers, I don't wanna say first, someone will call me out, but like we we're the first people to kind of like be degenerates for on sure. YouTube. For sure. Yeah. Like yeah, one 100%. of the first of the popular hell? people to be degenerates. Yeah. So like people wanted to work with the cool YouTubers. Dude, sure. no one drank beer. I remember yeah. that in LA. No one drank We a would beer. walk around with two fours and you're instantly the life of the party because it was like, Oh, what the fuck? Like, they actually brought beer. Like, they didn't know what that was. Like, shotgunning. They didn't know what that was. Like, it was like, I don't know. It's interesting to it's think like about that. The Canadian circus in LA. Like, yeah. we were fucking showing up, and it was, like, different than what everyone else's vibe was, if that makes sense. So when did when did Full Send come into the picture, and when was that created? That was from Laurence, you said, right? I heard it out of our boy Laurence's mouth, but I think... Um, Would you say that was an, when the brand really elevated, when it went from Just Nelk to Full Send? Merch-wise, I guess... It was that white T-shirt. Yeah, we just put full sun on it, and then that that girl at a gas station or something did the promo. Right, wasn't that the first uh-huh. time we like marketed it? Uh huh. I wonder if I could find that clip. I wonder episodes of it. That'd be cool to look at. Yeah, this is kind of off topic. This is for all three of you, but uh, if you had to look back, what do you think? Which prank gave you the biggest adrenaline rush, or were you most fucking nervous in the moment? Like, what was uh, the scariest shit to do? Coke prank in uh, Mexico. Yeah, for sure. I mean, my heart was racing. You yeah, were pushing it. You were fucking. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dude, they're like taking our car and shit. And you're like still going, ripping jokes. I'm <laughs> like, bro, let's get the fuck out of this country. Like, that was nuts. That was a crazy one. Yeah, fuck. A... Yeah. Watching porn in a lecture would always be pretty, uh, like, I mean, it's, it's just, it's an adrenaline rush. It's like, what the fuck? This whole fucking tour. Like, everyone is looking, like, hearing you do this. It's pretty fucked. I forgot about Coke Prank in Mexico. That's a legendary one. Yeah. That's a tough question. Well, everyone always talks about, too, you. You never break character, so it's like, in the moment, are you fucking freaking out? or Yeah, like, which one twisted you up, Salim? Like, just like, fuck. Or you didn't want to do it or some shit? You know, I don't think there's ever been a prank where I felt as if I was scared to do. I, I'm being generally honest. I don't know why. I've never seen you hesitate on anything. <laughs> I really don't, because it takes a lot for someone to really hate you, right? I mean, other than, like, I've never been to jail. I mean, obviously once in Alabama, but uh, besides that, I mean, you're never going to be scared of something unless it happens, right? And yeah. it happens the second time. It, it's like, oh, shit. Dude, yeah. I just went through a wrong experience. For me, it was the arresting shit that would freak me out. The arresting shit, yeah. And I a could, person never scared me or, like, getting punched never scared me. It was yeah. like, oh, am I going to yeah, go to fucking jail? Right. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily scare me. I think where I felt as if, man... This is too much 
Yeah. Probably aggressively, like uh, when we were vaping in people's faces. Oh, yeah. I thought that was like, okay, <laughs> man, you're just being a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was. Uh, with the sideways hats and shit. Show's yeah, I, I think though. with that prank, in my opinion, I was just like, who, who? all right, let's not make it known. Let's not make it feel as if you're actually fucking vaping this motherfucker's face. Whose idea was that one? I don't know. you, right? Didn't you That's start the that big one? Ass no, jewel, I didn't right? vape back then. I didn't vape back then. That was with the big jewel. I thought he did that. He started it. I think those it, guys, the we, sus dudes were doing it. The sus dudes did it. Shout oh. out to those guys. Yeah, and honestly, like, uh, I remember they did it. And then we just decided, yo... I remember we shouted them out in the video as well. Well, we brought them out to collab with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they collabed with us. Um, I'm thinking about the Instagram prank um, that we posted, but... Um, it was a good yeah, one to do on someone's boyfriend in front of their girlfriend. So you yeah. vape in their face and then oh, hit on the girl. Yeah, that was so oh, disrespectful. Oh, flirt, flirting with uh, girls... That's some uh, of your best shit. Flirt, flirting with uh, boyfriends. Girls in front of their boyfriends. Like that? Yeah, that shit's yeah. hilarious. Bro. I thought that was hilarious. That's man. pretty... That's, love, it, that takes for balls. For me, like, I, I like testing people a lot. When it comes to like just pranks, because you just never know what the hell is gonna happen. I like mm -hmm. that risk, but I mean it's not always smart to do. Yeah, yeah. But I've never been really, you know, like scared or felt like something bad may happen. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm like a psychopath. But I think I think yeah. Just like the cloud house though was just like yeah. It was just fuck. All right, boys. Hope you're enjoying the pod. This episode is sponsored by Manscaped. And by the way, we don't do any sponsors on this pod with shit that I don't actually fuck with, but I actually fucking love Manscaped. I personally use it all the time. The best thing about Manscaped is instead of going to like another site like Amazon or whatever, it's a one-stop shop. So you don't gotta go around to different sites, pick out different shit. They have everything on one site. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites. The Crop Reviver, if you're hitting a fucking sexy lift and you gotta go straight to an emergency pump and you don't have time to shower, it's not ideal and I'm, it's kind of dust, but keep the Crop Reviver in your fucking shaving kit. And boys, I don't know about you, but I'm not a full bush guy. You could have a little bit of a bush, but you can't not go full bush. I mean, that's what Gambles does and that's why he fucking barely even fucked his own girlfriend. I fucking love this razor. It looks like a fucking Tesla razor, like Elon Musk made it or some shit. It's the best for down there. This one's dope for like your nose hairs and shit. Get up all in there. Keep the nasal patches nice and fucking clean, boys, for, for all the zappers out there. And then this one's the brand new one that I like. It's the Handyman, because it gets like all your close hairs. It's really, really sick. It charges in like five minutes. It's waterproof, so you could bring it in the shower too. Go to the site. We got you boys on a code. Use code NELK. You get 20% off the entire site and free shipping. So go to manscaped.com, boys. We gotta stay fresh. You guys know I'm on my gym grind now too, so we're getting in shape. We're staying fresh. We're fucking pulling birds, no more sixes. Yeah, Manscaped, one-stop shop. Take advantage of that code though, boys. Code NELK, 20% off and free fucking shipping. I fucking love free shipping. Take advantage of that code, manscaped.com. Let's get back on the pod. You guys have any stories that you haven't told or anything to share there? Jesse has a crazy one, probably. <laughs> I got one fucking crazy one. I could try one. to think. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm sure I'm not gonna get in trouble for it now, but the... Oh my goodness. I remember I went out with all the guys Banks took us out to like a club. I got blacked out. And uh, apparently I ended up going to like three other fucking parties I heard the next day. But like, I don't remember any of this. And I just disappeared. And then um, like the cloud house, like all the homes look the exact, exact same. Like they all look like there's cookie three, cutter homes. There's three in a row. Yeah. And I guess I came home and like went to the wrong house. And I don't even know how I got in there, but I, I'm in the house and I'm in the top floor. I'm like eating food out of the fridge, <laughs> like chocolate cake and shit. And then I left the sink running and then I passed out on this guy's couch and the, the apartment started flooding. And then the guy woke up like three floors flooding. And then he came out and like fucking Holy thought shit. that I was like a break and entry, called the cops, wake up to like fucking shotguns pointed at me like Are thrown on the ground right dude it was fuck <laughs> what and then i get like <laughs> so i'm in the back of this cop car and you know after being blacked out even if you get woken up it's like you're like half out of it still yeah and i'm like fucking dude i live here he's like dude you don't live here <laughs> he's like you're going downtown like you're done and then fucking foosh saves my goddamn life and i'm and he walks out because because they're all gamers so they were working they're like you know gaming late and I don't even know what happened, but somehow he like came outside when they I was in the saw cop the car. Sirens. What's yeah. that? They probably saw the sirens. Oh yeah, that's what. Yeah, there's probably cops everywhere. And uh, and then he's like, he vouched for me and was like, yeah, he lives here and all this shit. And then the owner of the house came out and was like, 
if he pays for the damages, then like, yeah, he's good to go. And then, yeah, lost all the money in my account and fucking. Oh, good yeah. play by that guy, though. How much was that? Like 15K? 41,000. What the hell is he doing there? Yeah. What is she doing fucked. there? I didn't know it was that much. Damn, Dude, bro. it was all my money. It Wait, no, fucked. Jesse, what are you doing there? Holy hmm? fuck. Like 41,000. What'd you do? Did you well, dude, the whole bunch? house flooded in a fucking Oh, mansion. you flooded it. Okay. I yeah. Didn't know that. I didn't know it was um, 41. That's wild. How, oh do you, how do you come back from that? Oh, that was probably the start of my fucking like wake up calls. and like, really? Fuck, man. Yeah. I had really bad anxiety after that. Oh, my God. And then fucking Gamble's banging on my door the next morning. <laughs> what? Why did he do that? <laughs> did I tell you that? No. Oh, he like... He was, I don't even think he knew what was going on. He was drunk or something, but he like banged on my door and was like, the cops. He's like, open up. And I fuck, <laughs> I'm in my boxers and I'm, dude, I'm like probably slept like an hour. I have so much anxiety. Oh, I like pounce out of my bed and like put on clothes in like two seconds. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to jail in my boxers. And then I, I like open the door and it's fucking him. And he's like, what's up? His hat sideways. I'm like, dude, <laughs> my heart is literally beating through my chest. Like, holy, that's fucking nuts. Dude, it was crazy. That's the craziest story. Yeah. Damn, bro. That's a tough, tough bill to pay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How much longer after that? I'm sorry, bro. How much longer after that were you guys in the cloud house? <laughs> I don't know. Like, when did you move out? That's fucking hilarious. Go to Fredonia. <laughs> they, were, they were moving out, right? I think it was over. The cloud house was, like, done. Yeah, is that? I think. I can't remember. Or maybe, maybe we just fucked off. I think we fucked off to Europe. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. We we went to Europe. Everyone knows that that was a legendary fucking. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, and then that's the next step, like where we like really elevated, and we were doing one video every Monday, shooting it, editing it. Sounds like timing was just key. Like yeah. you have nowhere to go, you're like fuck it, let's go to Europe, and it just elevates the entire channel. Because now we had the funds to go do that. Yeah. Now and we like, had the money to do with it. God and everyone. It was like. We weren't just dropping a YouTube video every Monday. We it was like a movie, yeah. fucking movie. It was sick. But every like, week, shooting it and editing it. In yeah. One week. What do you so think? So like we'd shoot Monday to Thursday or Friday, and then boom, edit, 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 get it up Monday, and same shit. So like they're seeing it live on their stories, mm-hmm. and the video's like out that same week, which is like pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, those are some of the best videos. Yeah, of all Europe, time, Europe's though. legendary. I mean, that's when Steve was obviously just like. You know, Steve joined and he was, he right. took Nelk to another level for sure. Right. Like a massive yeah. level. That's when he proposed to Nino in front of the Eiffel Tower, right? And you guys did soccer balls out there too? Yeah. Still Stealing soccer, soccer yeah. balls, Amsterdam. Where was that? London or something? Yes. Those guys got pissed. They were trying yeah. to scrap us and yeah. shit. I remember that. And then MTV Wine Pat tour. on there, bro. MTV yeah. Pat. How did you hilarious. guys decide? I don't know. I've never heard this. How did you decide, yo, we got to put MTV Pat in the videos? How did that start? He must have came down to like visit us and then was just well, in vlogs. He was vlog. always just like once in a while in that? it or in yeah. your, even in your old vlogs. And like I always mm. thought he was jokes too. You obviously thought he was jokes. So <laughs> yeah. like, I think he was down to come. I was even like, I was like, you know, oh, yeah. is he down to come? The father figure is a funny yeah. character. And he was like, just hilarious. Yeah. So, so fucking funny, bro. And that was an epic trip. Yeah. That was a fake But even then, it's different too. because, like, we were fucking, we had 13 people probably. We had three editors Osgod, D. Tomas, Adrian, yeah. me, Jesse, Nino, Steve, Jason, Ernie, Clay, Drew, Laurence was there, chefing. <laughs> yeah. And you had Nino. It was an operation, man. Yeah. How, cra- so, how crazy is it to think back moving like that with 13 people? And that's got to be expensive as fuck, right? It was expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was expensive. And yeah. at that point, are you guys like trying to like even save money, or just putting everything like, yo, let's just fucking we try and just take as possible. Whatever we're just going right back into we're it, pretty just much. Going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Airbnbs weren't cheap out there for thirteen people. No. What were even the fucking? We were like, what were the fees were... like on those? You guys definitely fucked them up. You could even see them in the video. Did you guys even care? No. Oh yeah, we were fucking up some for sure. I think one in France got fucked up. Yeah. I was sleeping that the, night. The Paris but one? But him and Steve would go through a phase of just like when they would get drunk, just like... Slamming beer bottles Breaking or shit. Dude, yeah. yeah. Why, man? <laughs> I don't know. It was Those ones jokes. you can't explain, really. But like we would do that. No. We would just like throw shit you on the ground. You guys just get like, fucked up just randomly? Yeah, we never even uploaded the Paris No, shit. we didn't upload it because it was too fucked. It was, it was just like yeah. disrespectful. It wasn't funny. It was just no. like, like yeah. fucking... Yeah. Like, after Europe, did you, is that when you guys moved right into Fredonia? Pretty much. 
I was back in Canada so. with that Ohio oh, yeah, charge. Oh, yeah. I was like, bro, where the fuck is Jesse at? I remember me. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we him. stayed at Brad's for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just, and we were, looking, was, we were yeah. looking for houses. Mm-hmm. And then we found the, yeah, the first, first Nelk house that we actually right. paid for ourselves and signed a lease. Yeah. How big of a moment was that? Big. It was pretty big. Yeah. And but yeah, Europe was when, I think Europe was the prime, was still the biggest drop we ever did. It was, it was right after the wine tour. One of the that biggest? was the biggest drop. No, the biggest. I thought for Is that the one where we were like in a hotel room? Like $13 million in gross revenue. Wow. Fredonia wasn't in, the in biggest? 30 minutes. Wait, Fredonia wasn't the biggest? No. No. Was that that hotel no, room no, no, where we were no, all no. like the on biggest the... drop, I think. Oh, I, I think that Fredonia one. Fredonia was. I remember Fredonia that one. Maybe was a huge drop. Maybe that, that one was tied. Probably tied, yeah, yeah. I just remember like. I was no, like, the one where we had the screen outside by yeah, the bar. I remember huge that. Too. That one was crazy and too. I remember this guy, Kyle, was like, Drew, fucking fix this shit right now because some shit crashed. <laughs> I remember you said that, man. You were like, dude, fix that right now. <laughs> like, you had a beer in your hand, dude. That was just, hilarious. Just to give people an idea. But it was crazy to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that how was many, a huge drop, too. How many people are live on the site? You said it's 30 minutes, right? What was it like 300,000, 400,000? We've 000? done over 300,000, yeah. probably. 350, so probably. 350,000 right? fans are waiting to buy that's amazing. merch at once. That's amazing. That'll never not trip me out. That's like 350,000 people like, with a credit card. Like, yeah. Right. Like, imagine that many people like <laughs> checking out at a fucking yeah, venue insane, or something. That's like, I don't think that's ever been done. Like, that's like some Kylie Jenner shit. Like, I was going to say, are any other creators moving merch like that that you guys no. had seen? I no. haven't seen. It's got to be up there with like a Supreme or something. Like, I wonder what was back when Supreme's prime. Yeah. Because it's probably pretty insane for them too. But that's like an insane number. Like what the hell, bro? Like, yeah. three hundred fifty thousand people just there when there's Dude. five minutes to go, making Ten fucking ago, a million dollars a minute minutes. for like the first four minutes. I remember. I'm fucking. You're nervous, nuts, right? I mean, Dude. I bet. I mean, that's like crazy. Three hundred fifty. It didn't look real. That's three hundred fifty thousand people. God damn it! <laughs> like that's a lot of people. It's crazy. Yeah, just getting that amount of people on that site is just like pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's insane. Find the older like, I get, the more like these numbers, like fucking, like I was even just like thinking, like this podcast is gonna be like million fucking people are just gonna like dissect this conversation guys. and like ah. it's fucking nuts. Like it's when you think about it, you can't, you almost can't think about it. It's like it's fucked. So much people. That is pretty crazy because I remember when that that drop did so well. I remember wearing suits. Yeah. yeah. And you were in the pool for some goddamn reason. <laughs> well, for uh, every merch drop, we would try to think of something like engaging to do yeah, on the yeah, day yeah. that we would like post on our stories. So like our story views would be like the highest on the day yeah. to like, cause, cause then when we would post the merch was live, it would be like the most amount of people seeing it. Dude, that was, that was a very, that was very, all part of the moment. geniusness of it though. Like even like that was just as important. Like how many people would do 100%. a drop and they would. Do a countdown, and then they'd fucking post like it. Like seeing Steve it's like, and Kyle shotgunning behind the the bar we had. Oh down yeah, for Don- yeah. At that point, you guys <laughs> hyped. You were so good at hyping that shit up. Like, Dude, you come up with like ten ideas. Some- like, oh, we're gonna have three hookers come by, and then they'll be doing this. Random we're gonna, shit, yeah, right? Just like, it's just like, yeah. You just create a circus. That's amazing. That, 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 yeah. That's like genius, right? Like that's genius. Like seeing that was like. What do you I think the biggest key no, to that was? Like, why do you think that we were able to get like three hundred thousand people on the site? Honestly, not to be corny, but I think that's where I got to give like the roses to you, man. Like that's where, that's where like, I even like still in business that I'm doing now, like I still take that energy of like how you, you just like understand how to like build hype properly and how to market and like create real hype. And it's like, yeah. And I'm sure, yeah, we both had ideas and did shit, but like, dude, I think that was the science to why it like was different than anyone else. It fucking, it just like. I think one thing that I noticed as a fan was just everyone watched your guys' entire journey. So everybody wanted to yeah. support the you. The story, selling the story. You a whole story that's, line. That's and it's a true story. Say. That's what I was yeah. going to say where it was like, it's not like we like, you know, fucked up or anything. It's just like, I think we were just literally like in this mission and it yeah. kind of like lasted for as long as it did. And like, like the fact that we went from doing like three videos a week to like, you know what I mean? A video every single Monday shooting and editing. Like we can't even do that right now. Yeah. And we have like yeah. a whole machine behind this too. It's just like, once you have that jolt of energy, like I feel like if you're like a young creator, like you got to capitalize on that Yo, because 100%. it's, 
I don't even know how to describe it. It's you, just like it's you, to me. It's now all a blur. Yeah. Like it's just like damn. We were just like go 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 go. Like yeah. You can't replicate that energy. No, but you showcased that. I remember. I can't remember what video it was, but you guys were driving from I think Cali to Canada, and you almost stopped in. I want to say Chicago, because Nino had a girl there or some shit. Mm. But you literally showed you guys in a shitty car. All three of you jam packed in there. Like in every video, you just saw like the entire storyline. Dude, no I one 100% else showcased agree. that. Like you're thinking about that when you're a fan of someone and you're like about to press purchase on a hoodie. You're hundred percent being like, Ow. like, oh fuck, like, and I think I'm, f- I'm buying into this fucking story. We were like, and we weren't lying. That was the guys. thing back then. No. Like we were literally looking at the camera and we were like saying, like, yo guys, like you guys are funding this. Yeah, yeah. We, we make we're no not ad making sense. YouTube money. Yeah. Right, we had zero brand deals mm-hmm. that I can remember. Like I don't think we had. We any. were too like R rated. Yeah, like, yeah, and no one was paying us brand deals. Like literally, like the fans were buying merch, and with the merch money, we were like flying to Europe, like getting right. the Airbnbs, paying for the videos to go out. Like it was like a real thing. Right, and so f- that's why I think it was so successful too. We have the fans that are so engaged, and they're thinking, "Yo, we got to see this story continue," and that's the only yeah. way to see it. Yeah, the fans pretty much built the channel. I, like, I honestly, seen too, yeah. even with Kyle, like when that merch drop happened, when oh. um we were all in suits. Yeah. Um, just like how quick you were to think of like, yo man, like you're just quick to think of like the greatest shit to happen for now. Yeah. Because the merch drop dropped or it's about to drop, whatever the case yeah. may be. And like just thinking like what is gonna make this shit even go anything. Even I remember we bought That's like five hundred tins and put them in my G wagon so yeah. that when I opened the door, like we just like cool that's a 10 second clip that'll fucking bang then it was like another one like you know what i mean it was just well, like he, he thinking understood of a lot things. of things that were very eye-catching yeah i right. wish we had like behind the scenes footage of that shit that was amazing because that, was that a lot shit's of just like happen, fuck it was like it's pretty magical like what we did like oh, what were some other things that you guys did like that because i remember like steve's boot was just so on brand and so oh, perfect yeah. for him oh yeah and you had a new one every drop like there's just like little things like that that were just I think perfect we were for each guy. Kind of the first people to like, definitely from YouTube to start like sourcing hard goods and like like shit like that. The shotgun tool and making our own and like that was another pivoting point I think that like separated us from like a merch company. Clay so was like, a hard good guy, dude. Yeah, got those, like, yeah. And he'd have to movie. he'd have to work throughout the night uh-huh. to talk to China. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, grinding. That's wild, dude. That's wild. Yeah, so at that, I remember that was the first night I ever went to Fredonia was the suit drop. And you guys had a fucking party at the house. Mm. I came with Bob, and I was like, yo, this is fucking in. I'd never seen anything like that. I was Did so, you see the drop or the just the party? Just after? the party. The party, yeah. But I was like, you have live tattoo artists. Yeah. So many. I remember. Yeah, I was like, Demi Lovato. I was like, yo, this is <laughs> fucking crazy. There's so many Steve, hot chicks. Yeah. Like, when I went, I was, I was like, yo, these guys are the fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the kind of scene, like, you know, people want to be in. Yeah. So at that point, when merch and stuff, you guys would say you're pretty much on top. Like, you went yeah, from kind we of were, the new yeah. guys to, like, yo. 100%. Man, 350,000 right? people. Yeah, we were. It's insane. We were. Yeah. So what's what's the motivated and how do you, what's the next step after that? Like, when you reach that, you're like, fuck, how do we, how do you get creative at that point? It's tougher. I mean, I think, I mean, yeah, when the money does come, it does, it does make it. It does change it a bit mentally. Yeah, yeah. Right? it mentally changes it a like, bit because ah. it's not. You don't have to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Before we had to do it, mm-hmm. we had to. Right. Like that's what it was. So it's like when you don't have to do something, then you know it's it's not as right. You're not gonna go watch a porn video in a lecture when you have that kind of money coming in. You're not as like incentivized to go do yeah and also like we had been doing yeah. it longer too so the stuff that you know we wanted to do can get like repetitive or repetitive like what's that saying like, that it's hard to train in silk sheets like they'll yeah. say that about like conor mcgregor or some shit so like, right i think that but i think that's just a learning curve you just have to like find what you're like maybe it's more about just like oh we can do a bigger video and i'm super excited about shooting this certain thing or moving the goalposts, but it's tough when you've been doing it for a while too. And like, also we'd both been arrested Mm -hmm. like Jesse twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like even now I'll still think like we will think of some prank ideas that I know would bang. And I'm like, we were about to shoot it too. Like we've been talking about the too touchy thing or it's just like, Oh yeah. But it's like, 
I want to do it, but it's like just pushing myself to do that like prank that like yeah. I might get in shit or I might get fucking hit. It's just like, damn, I just can't do it like I used I'm to do dumb. it. Like it doesn't make me happy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I like doing the pranks that like I'm not going to get in trouble. Like, yeah, we did the car one car wash one recently or like even the wheelchair one was like not as like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's but it's just tough to like yeah. when it doesn't make you happy. It's not the same. Right. Yeah. Before we would enjoy shooting pranks like yeah. back in the day. Like we'd probably maybe it wasn't the funnest thing ever, but we had we didn't have a terrible time doing it. No. Probably. I mean, dude, I don't know about you, but before I got arrested, oh, yeah. I definitely was like, I wasn't scared of being arrested. I wasn't no. scared of getting punched in the face. Uh-huh. I was like, whatever the fuck we got to do to do it. Yeah. Like that was, there was a switch noise. that happened yeah. for sure. Like it freaked me the fuck out. But the, yeah. Like well, I don't, I can't picture me doing anything now that would like get me arrested. I don't think I would. Yeah, it's fucked. Like if you're talking about like, hey, you don't have to do this. It's like, but I also love still doing pranks yeah. and all that shit still yeah but. is there anything you guys miss about doing that shit i just miss it's like missing like fucking going to high school or something that's the way i see it it's just mm-hmm. like you look back on this time and it was like you know you were younger you had less worries mm-hmm. and you just you just like what a great fucking time like right what a fucking time to be alive like we were just i think if you remove all the stress of having to do it or getting arrested or any of that bullshit <clears throat> like I would go shoot with you tomorrow. You yeah, know what I mean? Like if sure. it was like, cause there is something really fun about you'd be this crew and you'd watch someone go do their bit and you're like, Oh fuck, what's going to happen. And then you go do your bit and you try to one up them and then they try to one up you. And it like, it, it is fun as fuck. Like, and yeah. then you get to go and sit with editing and fucking create the comedy magic. And like, you guys know too, once you get that good reaction, you're just sitting there like, yo, we oh, got it. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Cool. That's our probably whole the group, best yeah, feeling. We that said is. this in the Nelk video, but our whole group was like, from the editors to like even when you guys came in, everyone wanted to make a good fucking I product. Agree, yeah. You know, everyone wanted to be like, yeah. if we got something good, it wasn't like, all right, like sweet, like put it out. Like we yeah. were fucking like, we're ready. To, yo, we're this fired is up for the premiere. Sick. We're proud of premiere. what we made. Yeah, and we can't wait to share it mm-hmm. with like very selective the fans. of like what goes 100%. out. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that was the best. That was the best thing, man. When we're able to all sit down together and really, really watch, like Jesus Christ, like we we know it's gonna be good. Yeah, that was the best feeling. It's like we know it's gonna be good. I remember uh, crashing online, uh, the Zoom lecture. Remember oh, Zoom? Yeah, remember yeah. Zoom video? Like, video, yeah, yeah. That, that was that was. People sometimes say that's like how they found us. Dude, isn't that crazy? Like, yeah. like I remember us sitting down and really <coughs> watching that, and we just all clapped at the end. But that was like probably one of the most beautiful things ever. Zoom that, I've, I've, like, I've ever seen. Like that was just like yo, that was such good timing. That was too. such great COVID, timing, right? man. Mm-hmm. Such great timing. And we just all like that. Like, well, we had to improvise months? too. It was yeah. like we couldn't shoot anything. It was like we couldn't shoot nothing. And we're I still hitting you guys viral. prank calling yeah. Apple Store IDs or uh, Apple. I remember you guys were sitting down. Yeah. You had the hat. You know what I mean? You had the, you had the hair. You guys were definitely able to capitalize. Remember, remember that? Sorry. You guys were able to capitalize on the COVID situation harder than any other creators, yeah. I think. Yeah. No, 100%. Because there's, it also was at the time, I think, probably. The most amount of people on their phone too right dude computers, like. what else did you guys do you did something else with you did the lectures which was fucking hilarious that was so viral and then what else was done well there was an endless amount of online classes so the amount of ideas you could do was pretty endless. i remember doing the shitting one remember i was like i took a shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was like insane but i just remember we just kept firing those off you were definitely we actually part shitting two, didn't too. we Huh? Well, you you were shitting for real. I did, I did, I did. Uh, I had it. Yeah, it was it was funny. <laughs> but I remember we did that, and we just saw what dude. That was that was amazing. That little couch we had downstairs. Oh yeah. Next to my fucking the room that I had, that was like it's fucking terrible. Oh yeah. But That's it was fun. just, I don't know. It was just great because like the whole house. would be down there rolling up a fucking. Oh yeah, dude. The whole house every was morning. Shit. Let's all let's be honest. Yeah. The whole house yeah. was in shit. Dude. Well, there was fucking frat. fifteen was people. It was a right. frat house, but it was beautiful when we all came. Together. That was the first house we ever like actually signed a lease for. Yeah. Like that was the like. It was always month to month bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Which was crazy. I remember I'd go through spurts where I'd like clean the kitchen or some shit. <laughs> be like, yeah. yo, I need to clean home. And then like, yeah, you'll fucking cleaning. rager in no an hour. Cleaning, you know? <laughs> I'd be in there. I'd start the rager. Yeah. Like, People I- are making bacon <laughs> at 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
There was a oh. lot of mixed emotions. You're like, oh, yeah. no, no, no. We got to be like, it's like a house. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's not. Fuck. It's not. My bedroom at that house, man, it was like a, it was like my own apartment. In like, you had a nice, you had a nice room, though. You had like a nice a room. I really room went in there. A, if you were on the top floor in that house, you were okay. It seemed like. Oh, fuck. You still have people banging on the door, had, though. Kyle's had nothing in there. No. It was like how I'm a boring guy, man. I just, I just go to bed. That's it, pretty much. <laughs> Thieves, I don't know. It's a bunch of dog traps. Every, I don't know what's going on. I remember I started cleaning <laughs> up. Traps. I don't know if you remember this, but <laughs> I was like. traps, but you know what I mean? I was trying just to store things in your closet. Shitting everywhere. Like snowboards or like oh, some really? shit. And you're like, yo, dude, I'm not trying to like. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I remember one time I was cleaning up and I was like. Yo, you got this big closet. And I started like bringing all this shit upstairs. You're like, dude, you're not moving all this shit in here. <laughs> Fuck Didn't you? Yeah, that's crazy. yeah, do you guys have any any other funny ass <laughs> moments or like untold stories in that house? The Don't... fucking laundry room was a fucking mess. That was a mess. It was a mountain uh, every day. Dude, it was just, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't. It. Might yeah, as, that was funny. Might as well. And was that enjoyable? Outside. Or are you guys like, yo, we gotta <laughs> we gotta take it somewhere else after this? What was that? Sorry. Like, was that situation with having the entire team, that was pretty much the office, was that enjoyable? Or was it like, yo, we got to keep keep going and get something better than this? I don't know. We probably I mean, have different opinions on that for, moment. For, I mean, for me, like... I was definitely... It, it just... I, I I grew up poor, so, like, it was just like, I, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know how you guys thought of it, but... I, I It seemed like... Yeah, it was, def- it was me, definitely like, hectic. I think I liked, like, alone... Time I was gonna say, and yeah, fucking that, like, event that was probably part of two. It's just like eventually, like, because <laughs> I remember we were gonna go to, um, was it Dubai? What was it? Where, yeah, and Osgod got COVID yeah. or something happened, uh-huh. and then I couldn't go, and then I got an Airbnb because I couldn't go back to the house or something. But I remember that was like the first, probably because I like went to an Airbnb by myself and like probably got a taste of like a little bit of a quieter oh, was that the Khabib fight thing, thing we were and, to... yeah. Oh, I see. And that was like kind of a, I don't know, definitely. Like you almost didn't think that like that's an option. You're like, nah, dude, you got to live with fucking 14 dudes and keep going. It's a lot of dudes. (laughs) It's a lot of dudes, man. Especially after doing it for a long ass time. It's just like, you just, it's just like, I was just going to say like, what, when did you guys find like a time where it was just like, you're just not motivated and you're just not as into it as you used to be? Probably around that time for me. Was there like a certain moment or it just was building up and you're like, yo, I got to try something different? Yeah. I For me, uh, it was just building up around that time for a while, I think. But it was also a mixture of a lot of things. I think like I just wasn't like like in a good headspace. So I just mm-hmm. fucking had to figure out some shit. But uh, like I'm sure it tested you a lot of times. Like I could tell and it was like a lot on you, but you were always good to fucking just like this is what we got to do fucking keep it going i think i think that it's just like i understand too what you're going through too because it's like even now with like my like health too and mental health like i realize Mm -hmm. too like dude it really is everything yeah and it's like if you don't have your mental health then like what do you really have right so like if you were going through that time when like you had like you had to do what you had to do like yeah i mean like if you were not in a good headspace and like it wasn't the best environment and all that, I was like, it makes total sense to me. Like, you know, mm-hmm. best way to describe it's, it is a, it was crazy. And it was, it was like, you know, there was crazy time. even now, bro. It's still, you know, there's times where like, that's why I'm even now I'm prioritizing my health and like, yeah. it's there, good. there'll be certain trips that I could go on. Like we're talking about in doing international shit. Like besides probably Dubai, I'm not like, I don't even want to travel till I get the shred done and like get to yeah. that goal of like November's when it ends. Like I want to get healthy and like, yeah, put that first because dude, even with the shit now, like with happy dad and shit, there's a lot of, there's it's a lot of temptations. Right. And like, yeah, like we could easily slip up and go down that, mm-hmm. that lane too. So For like, sure. I totally yeah. get like, I get it. It yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah. It's just a point where you realize, like, yo, this isn't sustainable. If you want to accomplish things, you can't, like, live an unhealthy lifestyle like that. No. Like, daily. Well, the best way to describe it, like, is <clears throat> when you're at a point, like, say someone's going through whatever it is, like, fucking depression or crazy anxiety or, dude, who, like, even far, like, bipolar or schizophrenic. Like, dude, like, when you go through something like that to a point where you've, like, redlined it, I feel like all these things that matter, right? Like, your business and your, like, all these things that are, like, at the front line. It's almost like that becomes 1% because 
your head's not there. So like yeah. your 99% of your brain is freaking out because you're like, 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 you know what I mean? It's like, I can't, I can't really explain it, but like, it's like the best way I can say it is like, you don't really have a choice. Yeah. You don't have a choice. Yeah. It takes over. Yeah. It's like, there's a filter over you and you're like, I have to, I have to deal with this and then I can go yeah. deal with those I, other things mm-hmm. that matter. I've, I've, I've hit like breaking points like that. Re- like recently more too. Like really? It's just, like, yeah, but like, I don't, it's just like, you know, shit will happen or, you know, doing too much of something and just, you just hit a wall. Yeah. You know, you hit a wall or like, you know, just stress and anxiety from online bullshit or like whatever it is. Just yeah. like that time. It's like sometimes you're just like, fuck, like, you know, mm-hmm. like this, is this really worth it? Like you, type shit, but. For sure. Mm-hmm. That happens with everybody. It's tough. It's, it's a lot it's, to juggle for it sure. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think just like, I've realized too, like, God damn. Like, you got to stay sane. You got to stay. Right. Did you guys ever have a, this is kind of off topic, but a video or a prank idea that you were never able to do? Or you never, like, actually followed up on filming? I mean, near the end of filming, there was a lot of ideas that I didn't even do because I I was all freaked out about getting arrested kind of shit. But there was definitely some crazy ideas thrown out there that I was like, whoa, probably not. I'd have to think. I just always think about Devlin. But I don't know. (laughs) What were you guys saying about... Can you guys continue what you guys were saying? Before he mentioned that? I just want to know. What? You said the wall. Oh, yeah. Just like, dude, I don't know. Whether it's like, whatever it is, like, you know, if it's too much partying or, you know, yeah, like I said, maybe there's like just drama and shit online or whatever it is, you know? Shit like that where it's just like sometimes you just like... Yeah, you hit a wall in whatever situation that is. Yeah. And it just yeah, kind of shuts you down, right? And that can't even be bit. glossed over either, dude. Like, I'm just interested because what you were saying. Internet shit. Yeah. Like, just not like, yeah, like that whole thing of like just so many eyes watching everything you're doing is like crazy. People, anxiety. yeah, commenting things and this and that. And you're just like, yeah, it's a lot to like add on top of all the was other that Was that things. part of it? Like, when we were at the Fernandia <coughs> house too? Maybe, like, I'm sure, yeah, definitely a part of it. But I don't know. It's really hard to explain. Yeah, especially with the sober, like going sober too and like not drinking too. Like even for me, if I'm trying to get fit and not party less, you do have to just, you do have to just not be in situations like that too. Yeah. You know what I mean, like I'm not fucking going to the club sober straight up. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not like. I can't, like, I'm not going to do that. If I'm going to go out, I'm probably going to drink. Like, people can say whatever the fuck they want. Like, how can you not go out sober? But it's, I'm just not no, going to do really, that. You're being honest. It's just, like, yeah, yeah. It's just not what I'm Dude, used I tried to. when like, I first stopped yeah. drinking, and it's like, yeah. dude, you last, like, you can only get so many fucking, like, what are the fucking flavored Hot waters? Comes up and to you shit. and says, let's take a shot. Like, you're buckling yeah. instantly. Yeah. You gotta do it. So yeah. it's just like, for me, if I want to stay dialed in the gym, like, I just chill during the week, and then Saturday's my day. You know, to like, if you want to go out and have fun, have some drinks, do that. But that's kind of where like I'm yeah. kind of at right now. So I'm, that's my goal. Yeah. It seems to be good, but it's just like. Outside of uh, like the mental health, physical health, all that, what's your guys' goals that you want to accomplish like in this space personally? Um, my, I mean, my business goals really just right now is to like, the main focus for me is just to build Happy Dad, to be like the biggest one of the biggest alcohol brands in the world yeah like yeah we say we're not really competing with like people think we're competing with white claw but like we're we think we're competing with budweiser right in the sense that like you know we could be an entire alcohol company you know happy dad could just be our first product of many but like we want to own like the consumer like goods consumer products like space Mm -hmm. you know and now we have so many relationships with all these stores like direct relationships with like walmart you got distribution to set up all the like all our partners now we have we own those relationships so like happy dad might just be our first product like maybe we'll launch a liquor maybe we'll launch something a non-alcoholic product and now you know yeah it's just a funnel because we have all these stores so that's kind of like my business goal but and then just Continuing to try to have fun with Nelk, mm-hmm. I think like that's why this video is good for me too because I kind of wanted to just tell the fans like it's just like I feel like they take it sometimes too seriously and because mm-hmm. they're passionate and it's like what yeah. me and you built from the beginning was just like it's fucking magical so 
but for me, I just want to have fun with it and just, I just like making content. So it's just like, I just want to have fun and yeah, upload yeah. the videos and like, there's definitely no need to make it stress you out. Yeah. You like don't I would have love to, to just yeah. have fun and like upload videos and just yeah. like, you know what I mean? hundred percent. Like I, that's why I wanted to tell them, like, I agree with you guys. Like old milk is dope as fuck. Like yeah. no one said it wasn't, you know, like I fucking love it just as much as you guys. Like, yeah, no lie. So like, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at, but I can't complain, bro. Life is fucking, I'm, we're blessed. I'm very blessed. Grateful. Like, very blessed. Actually. hundred percent. Really? How about you? Yeah. I think, um, <clears throat> I'm really happy with Sunday and how it's all coming out and, uh, that I took my time. Like, like I've said this before, but basically just creating something that would keep me stoked for the next 10, 20 years. Um, but, uh, no like real massive goals, basically just getting it to a point where it's profitable and it can keep funding, creating more shit. And I know that's kind of corny, but it's like, that's like really my only goal right now. Cause like, I know that like, obviously even when I exited, it was like, I made it, I can chill, whatever. But like, I quickly realized that I'm just not that guy. Like, I like working on yeah. shit. So like, yeah, that's like the dream I see. Just like not being in one lane. Obviously, I love doing product development and creating brands. But uh, I don't know. Like, you know, we used to talk about like making movies shows, or shows. Yeah. And like, I just being able to like keep doing that and growing connections and fucking just keep creating things yeah. is how's fuck, boxing, it's dope. How's boxing helped you? Like, cause you've been doing Dude, boxing, it's, you've been sparring. Yeah, it's, it's fucking awesome. That's it's, awesome. it's so funny that obviously like skateboarding has always been my thing mm -hmm. and there's so many similarities to like, cause it's like a, it's not a team sport. It's like, you can go yeah. work on it whenever you want. And like, I don't know. I just fucking, I've never like fell in love with another sport like since That's skateboarding awesome, and it's like took over skateboarding. That's but awesome. dude, I, I love it, man. Like, That's awesome. That's, that's actually really good. Yeah. Super you think fun. one time Salim yeah. fucking loves UFC now too. Yeah, I love, I love him. Yeah, we've been talking. He, we this, guy come train. this guy will have a chick over and put on a fucking rerun UFC fight. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so funny, bro. <laughs> so I love it, bro. It's such a great Every sport. Every bird. I love like, hearing that though. It's Dude, like it's the same. It's like the same fight. Islam versus Volk. Dude, it's such a good he fight. He just puts to watch. it on the TV and That's makes them fight. watch. It's a great fight to watch. Man. And like girls don't fuck with UFC. Really? Like not a lot. Not a lot. Like yeah. It's so funny, just bro. Cool yeah, you to gotta keep I doing mean, like, dude, you, like bro. you never know what the hell's gonna Such happen. Such a power move, bro. It's not. I'm just like, I would, enjoy watching I would, UFC. I would watch you watch UFC fights with girls. Like, I would love to watch that. Like, please film dude, that. Dude, I, I don't even watch That's it. A good show that concept. Fucking hilarious, bro. No, I don't watch it because I'm just trying to put it on for them. Like, I just generally want to watch it. Like, I just yeah. want to watch the fight. There's a lot of fights I like to watch. My go to is the Connor Dustin trilogy. Like, I've watched that, that so yeah. much. And Gaethje, like, dude, any of his fights. Dude, Gaethje's fight, dude, that guy's a brawler. Dude, I like so that dope. guy a lot. I love Gaethje. He's on a next level right now, dude, too. Dude, he, he's dialed. Fuck. He's ready I to go. I think he Gets officially just joined Team finishes. Happy Dad today. Oh, that went through today? Yeah. Fuck, if we yeah. put it in the pod, Justin Gaethje, welcome to Team Happy Dad. Let's go. That's Let's fucking go. dope. Baddest motherfucker. Yeah, that's crazy. You got the BMF belt. So. That's pretty cool. I know. Uh, you think ever one time for the fans you guys could run back one prank? Maybe it's like less risky or yeah, for sure. Yeah, like soon. I would love to like. I'll go shoot one this week. I mean, with you guys, fun. but I would love if all of us just got into one. Man, that'd be so amazing. We should just if fucking... it's a the thing of it's a prank. We gotta definitely be like we like then it puts a little more pressure on us. That's why I was like, let's go on a trip and just have fun, and then it's just yeah. like. But if we're doing a prank. We might gotta sit down and be like, yeah, you gotta die. Hmm, you gotta die like, sick. what yeah, prank yeah. is it gonna be? Like, I feel like it should be the most simplest fucking yeah. thing, and just like more about, like, it doesn't matter. You know, yeah. it's not this or, big thing we gotta or pull we off. Do, we do have some like more like Bigfoot ideas though that we like we thought of. Oh, that really? Are, like, yeah. What like, we thought of some pretty dope ones. Really? So yeah, not not Bigfoot, but oh. like movie style oh, ones, movie style. like okay. like one concept where it's just like we thought of some pretty funny ones that like. It could be dope to do something like that too. Yeah. Or we can, or it's we'll just brainstorm and choose. What if what if you three did the like golf chirps, ran that back? Yeah, it'd be cool. That's just yeah. So, I think so I know the fans bro. would be thinking just do anything. I yeah. think that I would per, I would prefer to come back with something like fire as fuck. But I really like the trolling like yeah. MMA fighters. I feel like that is. I mean, I obviously know. with your connections out too. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I don't know where you do it, but some kind of like 
just like you go in there and you think you're the beauty and you're like sparring too hard or you're fucking yeah. dude there's so many jokes you could do we were, we were thinking of doing um we were about to shoot it we might shoot it but oh, um, jiu-jitsu one? like yeah like it's kind of weird though i guess like saying saying like gay shit to people while you're like rolling jujitsu. oh my god it's kind of weird i mean though. think about it though like if you're on full mount you know what I mean? Like he was saying it to you. He was like, I could flip you over, but I like how you're on top. Oh, I just I don't know if I could that. say a Kyle line with someone's that, yeah. my legs and like he could just, just break my knee. But like they're in your guard and you're just like, I'm not gonna lie, like I love where you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like weird shit. <laughs> like that's dude, that's pretty fucking funny. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Like cause it's like shit, is this guy is this guy gonna actually flip me? Like, you know what That'd I mean? be like, weird, eh? I mean it kind of makes both people like, Oh yeah, you wanna pass my guard? You wanna pass my guard right now? Yeah. I mean, yeah, rolling with them. I mean, they're gonna. Especially if you show up wearing like the wrong pads or on the wrong, like you're wearing too much pads. Like you're just so much shit. We just Yo, look like a rookie, you're but you're talking wrong. all this shit. Like, Dude, imagine like worn out pads or some shit. Like you're different old-time. colors. I don't and know. Shit. Just like weird shit. You should just know. show up wearing full <laughs> hockey gear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be funny. Stupid. We were That's thinking funny. of doing one like uh, Austin Powers, like you know how he got frozen. I can't remember. Like Kinda. so, like basically the concept would be like. Um, it could be two people that are frozen, but let's say like I was frozen or something, and then your job was to hire someone to like when I get unfrozen, like show me around the world. Like oh, I've been like frozen. You've been for, frozen. I've been like frozen for thirty thing. years. Yeah, and then like we actually do it. Like we get create the thing. Oh, and, like, that's funny. We, they like they come. Like we'll interview marks. Yeah. Like post on Craigslist and say like, hey, we need a caretaker. Then when they like interview them, choose the right one. Then when they get to the crib, like they witness it, like yeah. crazy, like lab, like oh getting unthawed. And then it's this person's job to like show. And your around. outfit looks like you're from 50 years ago. Yeah. Like, and you're like some rich guy that was like, I don't know. Yeah. That could be like epic. Yeah. It's hilarious. A few ones like that. We're thinking so yeah. many lines that could come out of that too. Yeah. Like, like something crazy like that. Those ones are fun. How would you be like, look, would you show him that you're in ice? Like, how would you yeah, do that? Yeah, like, we'd just create it. Like, we have this props girl that would probably, like, pull it off. Yeah. Like, I don't know how she would do it, but... Maybe you still got a little bit of ice movie. on your cheek or some yeah. shit. Like, but, like, no, yeah. we'd actually be in the, like... In the however she would do it, yeah. Like, we'd have to do that. Right? Just like Austin Powers, right? <laughs> yeah. Make them sign a bunch of shit so they think it's, like, top secret. Yeah, Like, you yeah, know what I mean? Sure. Like, yeah. it's a big <laughs> deal. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good idea. It's just funny. <laughs> yeah, because imagine the reaction to that. That'd just be like, what the fuck? That's a good one. I don't think that's a good idea. I do agree. I like, I like the idea of us all, like, everyone plays a certain part of a yeah, like that'd Bigfoot. Yeah, be the best way to do it. Yeah. And everyone has their own role. We just, yeah. like, build, make like it happen. It we have a <laughs> few movie ideas like that that we thought of. Really? Yeah. So we, we could brainstorm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We should just fucking kick it and fucking come up with some ideas. Yeah, for sure. We'll brainstorm. I know, and then we got to get fucking... If we do a... Re- we, we could do the, uh, some sort of trip, too. I think that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Just even, I don't even like know where it would be, but I think just like you and like if Nino was there and like Pat and like interacting with like the new people too. It's just oh, like yeah. so much different shit now. Like, mm. you know what I mean? So what's the deal with, with like Steve? Gabe and Nino? Could like, Steve be in it? or he's Steve just... can't be on YouTube. That's what we got to figure out is because like. I say put him on, but just for Steve's his Steve's got to be. Can no, you do they that? can't do that. Are you serious? Dude, in the Trump video, they like wouldn't even let us put his hand in the video. <laughs> like he hands Trump Shit's back. fucked man I know uh, Fuck Yeah so I don't know Damn ass. bro you gotta have huh? Steve Put it on X I know Yeah I know we need, we, If we bring him back Everyone we need Steve in the video we Like Steve. we need like We need to figure that out We somehow. need Steve in it yeah. Or we shoot something with Steve For Rumble or something like, Yeah I mean either way I want to I, I miss like, Steve I man yeah. Steve has to always be in there dude No he would obviously want to He wants to He wants to be in the videos bad We're trying to figure it out but I don't know Yeah well I'm glad we did this the fans, Great pod, fans really wanted coming. this. Obviously, uh, me and Gabe have utmost respect for you, bro, because we wouldn't be here without you. So I appreciate that. Yeah, man. appreciate everything you guys, all three of you, have done. So are you still sipping on that coffee? Nah, it's a spitter now. Wow, I ruined this cup. <laughs> and then yeah, and I think from here you guys figure out what the most fire thing we could all fucking film is. Yeah. Well, I think we're me and Jesse were just talking. We just treat it more like a collaborative thing now, and it's just like. Just have fun with it, and then whenever we have an idea, we'll work together and stuff like that. Maybe a one night yeah. with Steiny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like no one's doing. I'm, that, I'm right? fucking in with that. <laughs> no one's doing that. I'm Abby, just, Ray, I'm just Abby Ray, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing. She brought you up a few times on there. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. 
All right. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Comment. Comment if you guys have any ideas that you guys would like to see for uh, maybe even for a trip, and then for pranks too. But yeah, I think the trip would be first. I think we get. We'll see if Nino. MTV Pat. Gotta I think we just do it. I think everyone wants to see it. Gotta I mean, have Steve, bro. It'd be fucking fun. Yeah, we'll figure out the Steve anyway. thing. Dude, my dad called me like three times today. I haven't answered it yet. Really? Dude, he's so horny, man. Really? Dude. Well, yeah, I guess because the Nelk video went up. He's yeah. just like, yo, bro. He's probably already packed a bag and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That's yeah. so funny. funny, man. Hell yeah. All right, well, drop a thumbs up, guys. Comment. I think this was fucking awesome. Great internal. Yeah, feels yeah, good. Thank you, awesome. bro. Hell yeah. All right, All boys. Right, so- Good shit, boys. Fuck yeah, buddy.